Well, hello, teachers. It's great to be back for another episode of the Topcast, your official music teachers podcast, and this is episode number 206. Very special welcome to my Top Music Pro teachers out there. Hope you're all going okay and uh, enjoying teaching or holidays wherever you are in the world. It's wonderful to be back with you, and we've got a very special episode today. It's just me, and I'm very excited because we are finally formally launching the Top Music Marketplace. We're going to discuss why I decided to build a new marketplace for music teachers, what some of the benefits are for both teachers and students, what kind of things you can buy there, and how you can indeed become a seller. I'm going to welcome a few of our 40 plus sellers onto the show as well to quickly chat about what they're offering and to give you an idea of what's available. And we'll be giving everyone 10% off their first purchase on the marketplace. Stay tuned to the end of this episode to get your coupon code. You can grab a transcript and show notes for today's episode over at topmusic.co slash episode 206. So let's dive in. As many of you know, Top Music Co. has just unveiled a brand new marketplace for music teachers. It's called the Top Music Marketplace, and you can find that at topmusicmarketplace.com. This is your new one-stop shop for all your music teaching resources, including sheet music, camp programs, workshop ideas, games, lesson plans, incentive programs, and much more. Just browse or search the site, add products to your car, check out, and we'll deliver the goods instantly. At least if it's a download. So what's the motivation behind me putting this together? Well, today I wanted to let you behind the scenes in my thinking about creating the marketplace and how I've endeavored to benefit music teachers and content creators And what I see, I guess, is as the future of this as a platform. During the 200 or so episodes of my Topcast Music Teachers podcast, which actually started back in 2015, and through participation in many conferences around the world over the same amount of time, I've met hundreds of music teachers who are doing amazing things in their studio. And many of these inspired teachers have also wanted to share their ideas with other music teachers by creating products and services, coaching courses, you name it, music teachers have created it. I've always been blown away by the readiness of teachers to freely share their material and ideas. For example, there was uh, Tracy Selly and Sarah Campbell who joined forces and created the Upbeat Piano Teachers, and they put together webinars and interviews and sold them as packs on various topics. Then there was Mayron Cole who created a huge beginner group teaching method and soon after being a guest on my podcast, decided to retire and she gave it all away for free. And then there's people like Daniel McFarlane of Supersonics Piano, who was barely getting started when we connected in 2012 and is now an established self-publishing composer. And similarly with Julie Nur and Katie Fisher, the developers of Piano Safari, now firmly established in its own right. And then you've got all those other wonderful creators out there. I can't even name them all. Joy Morin, uh, Jennifer Fox, Marie Lee, Amy Chaplin, and many, many others sharing resources blogs, running online and in-person events, and generally helping teachers be amazing. It's funny because just 10 years ago, people used to ask me why on earth I was giving away all my teaching ideas for free. Why was I recording and sharing all these videos that they could use? And why would I record and share videos of my own teaching? Are you crazy? But now it seems that many, many people are doing it. The long closed classroom doors, both in instrumental studios and classrooms more generally, are now swinging wide open and teachers are more than ever happy to share and collaborate on ideas in their classrooms. In fact, there's now so much content out there that it's actually hard to find what you're looking for. And if you're a content creator, it's even harder to be seen. The thing that I've learned over the last five years is that music teachers have increasingly opened their doors and welcomed both feedback and new ideas. They've refreshed their teaching, they've tried new things and used new resources and books with excitement. I don't think there's ever been such an exciting time in music education. But while there's a massive amount of information available to music teachers around the world, if you're creating things to share with others, getting found can be really tough. Another trend that I've observed over the last 10 years of working in online music education is that more and more teachers are being those content creators. They're composing and publishing sheet music. They're creating entire methods. They're building online courses, running webinars. They're sharing their lesson plans. They're creating apps. They're designing and producing even physical objects, uh, physical products, I should say. They're writing books. They're launching memberships. They're upgrading their websites, creating shops, and much, much more. But the bigger challenge for any music teacher creating resources like these and hoping to sell them to other teachers has always been marketing. Building an audience that might like your product or service can take years. You need to create fantastic content across a number of channels, including video and social and a blog. You need to give things away in return for email addresses. 
and then build an email list that you can notify when you've got a product or service to sell. This challenge is one of the biggest facing anyone trying to build an online income stream. In fact, it formed the basis of a number of modules in my Music Teacher Startup course, which you can find at musicteacherstartup.com if that's of interest to you. But of course, not everyone has the time or inclination to learn the strategies of online marketing and building an audience. Most content creating teachers just want to do their thing, i.e. create great resources for other teachers and not to worry about the marketing. But without the marketing, you don't have many sales. One of the hardest things to watch over the years has been teachers spending hours and hours and sometimes hundreds of dollars creating amazing courses, downloads and resources for other teachers and then launching to, well, sometimes the sounds of crickets. It it happens all the time, unfortunately. And sadly, it doesn't matter how amazing your idea, product or service is, if no one knows about it or can't find it, then the launch is not going to go so well. And even if you do make a few sales, how much more impact could you have had and sales could you have made if only you had access to a bigger audience? That's exactly why I've created The Marketplace. I want to give all those hardworking content creating teachers out there a place to share and sell their products, downloads and resources without the time consuming hassle of building an audience. Thankfully, over the last 10 years of my work in online music education, podcasting, blogging, running the Top Music Pro membership, I've built a sizable audience of music teachers all across the world. Imagine if you'd composed some fantastic sheet music or you're writing an amazing lesson plan or built a course and could share it with all those dedicated, committed, interested teachers. Do you think you'd have more success? (laughs) Would it be a bit more easy? Well, that's what the Top Music Marketplace is all about, offering a platform upon which teachers around the world can share and sell their great resources to other teachers without worrying about all the marketing. You can leave that to us. Hi, this is Jennifer with Music Educator Resources. If you are looking for fun resources that can be used online or in person, you will want to check out my store inside the Top Music Marketplace. Be sure to check out the latest resources, such as the brand new interactive digital music games or my newest practice and center program, Jukebox Journey, where students will be time traveling from the roaring 20s all the way to the future. All of them can easily be used with your students, whether you are teaching online or in person during lessons or music lab. You can find my store, Music Educator Resources, under the Sellers tab inside the Top Music Marketplace. See you there. Hey, this is Natalie Weber over at Music Matters Blog, and I am super excited to be joining with Tim and his new Top Music Marketplace. One of the things that our studio has found most beneficial over the last 15 or so years has been implementing a yearly practice incentive theme. And so we have developed over a dozen different themes that have been used in our studio by students of all ages, from five years old on up through high school. And it has been an awesome way for students to have a framework to work within throughout the year and to set goals for themselves that they can measure and progress as pianists and musicians, and then a way to track that progress and see how they're advancing throughout the year. There are all kinds of different themes from Beat the Pirates to a world of wonder where they travel around the world to vanishing voices where they learn about composers throughout history. So all kinds of holistic approaches to incorporate various elements of learning and music into the theme for the year. So I would love for you to check out the different themes that we have available at Top Music Marketplace. And if you have any questions about them or want to know what would work best for your studio, just feel free to shoot me a message or an email and I can help you figure that out. I love seeing my students' excitement each year at our September Surprise when I announce our theme for the year and see their eyes light up and get excited for the year ahead and anticipate all the things that they're going to be able to accomplish. I'm also super excited to be able to share these practice incentive themes with all of you at Top Music Marketplace, along with all kinds of games and worksheets and piano camps and group lesson ideas. So I hope you'll check them out and enjoy incorporating them into your studio. 
So let's summarize the benefits for those of you who are creating resources for other teachers, and then we're going to look at some of the benefits for teachers who are looking for great resources. So the most important thing for our content creators is that we sort out the tech so you can focus on the content. You don't need to build and host your own website. You don't need to keep it maintained and work out how to upload and sell things and all the plugins and hassles that go along with it. Of course, if you do have things for sale on your own website and you want to come over to the marketplace, that's totally fine. We're not an exclusive platform, so you can continue to sell in both places. Over at the marketplace, you build and run your own shop. We let you handle how you want to sell, what products, what price, etc. If you want to update a product, you can quickly and easily edit it online. You don't need to ask us permission or get help. You can do everything yourself. We're just providing the real estate for your venture, much like a shopping center. You can do whatever you'd like in your store. You can access an instant audience of engaged music teachers around the world. So there's no need to slowly build an audience through writing hundreds of articles and recording videos. We've done that hard work for you. The best part is that teachers who follow us at Top Music tend to be super pumped, innovative, dedicated, motivated, and always eager to learn and improve their practice kind of teachers. Just the kind of people that you want to be selling to. You can enjoy selling to a curated audience. Most other marketplaces online are not designed specifically for music teaching. That's what makes Top Music Marketplace so special. So you won't end up on page 134 of a search result in amongst classroom maths and science resources. You can be seen, found, and make some sales. You can enjoy the power of recommendations. We have the recommendation engine on every page of the site, including the checkout that displays other products that teachers browsing may like. This means that even if you're not the thing that someone is looking for, being on the marketplace means that you can be much more easily found in various searches. You can also get added to someone else's cart. Another huge advantage of selling on a marketplace is that you can just be one of many products in a buyer shopping cart. While they may have jumped on for a quick bit of sheet music, they saw your product recommended and simply added it to their cart. No need to visit multiple sites, they can do it all on the marketplace. We've also got automated payments directly to your account. So there's no required to set up payment gateways, send invoices, email digital goods, everything is automated. You just upload your products and we do the rest for you. So it's a set and forget sales system. Once you've uploaded your products, you can relax and watch the sales come in as people find your products. While it's a good idea to tweak and improve both your product listings and the products themselves and getting reviews and things like that over time, you can certainly do this at your own pace. On reviews, we ask buyers for reviews of products as this is really important for building an online presence. And this again is all automated, so you don't even need to ask. And we've got low commissions. In order to provide the services of the marketplace, we take a small commission from sales. Our commission is currently 35% plus a 30 cent transaction fee. And if you would like to reduce that, you can become a premium seller and that brings your commission down to 22%, meaning that you keep almost 80% of all your sales. This is much better than other marketplaces out there, so you'll find this very competitive. And you can talk to us directly. As a seller on the Top Music Marketplace, you can contact us personally if you need to at any time. Try doing that on Amazon. (laughs) We also regularly look through our sellers' listings and suggest ways to improve and get more sales. So if this sounds like something that you'd like to be involved in as a seller, you can sign up easily just by going to topmusicmarketplace.com and scrolling to the bottom of the page where you'll find the Become a Seller link. And at any time, if you're a buyer, uh, you can also become a seller. There's nothing stopping you being both. If you've already got some digital products ready, then the process will take easily less than 30 minutes, probably about 15 minutes. Hi, I'm Grant, and I really look forward to being part of Top Music Marketplace. Tim has been a great help to me in my teaching and also a great encouragement in my composing. I've put some of my best piano pieces up on the marketplace, as well as some great compilations, such as the Beat Mix and the Triad Collection. Well, if you like pieces that are a mix of pop and classical, that sound really great on piano, then I reckon you'll love these pieces. I wrote the beat mix because some of my students really found it hard to keep to a steady beat. And I guess many teachers experience that sort of thing. There are five quite easy pieces in the beat mix, together with matching backing tracks. And the first piece is called A Little Spanish. And it's really captured the interests of students with its catchy repeated riff. Another fun piece is Rocking Train. It really rocks out. Uh, It's got distorted guitar in the backing track and really pumps along. Now the Triad Collection 
is a mix of some of my best intermediate compositions. The first one, Happy Triads, gets the student used to moving between chord positions and it's a little pop piece. Then there are some quite different pieces, such as Lost in the Mist, which has an eerie blurred Alberti bass pattern created with the pedal and it moves all over the keyboard. Well, I'm always writing new pieces and a recent one is called Composer Cat. This piece starts with a light jazzy theme, but then the cat interrupts by walking up and down the keyboard. Well, many students are captivated by this fun novelty piece. I've also put up two of my most popular pieces for intermediate level, Tambo Tango and Twilight. And it was really great to have both of these pieces included in the Australian Piano for Leisure exam syllabus books. Have a listen to Tambo Tango, as it has some interesting musical ideas and some wide hand crossing with the left hand. Also, I think Twilight stands out as it has a memorable pop tune set against a typical pop chord progression. Well, I hope many teachers and students enjoy playing and learning these pieces. And thanks, Tim, for having me on the podcast. So let's now talk about the benefits for music teachers. One of the biggest challenges we all face these days is information overload. Between newsletters, email, social media, notifications, is there any wonder that any of us can focus at all? In fact, one of our biggest challenges in the last few years has been managing distractions from all this buzzing and beeping technology around us. So it's understandable that many of us simply ignore emails, especially newsletters. We try and switch off social media and we just stick to our trusted sites and relationships. What if there was just one place that you knew you could go online to find quality resources that will appeal to your students at a great price and with no hassle? Well, that's my goal for buyers on the Top Music Marketplace. So here are some of the ways I believe this will benefit the lives of music teachers. Firstly, save time. Don't go trawling the internet for that new piece for a student, that summer camp curriculum or workshop theme. Browsing the internet can waste hours and hours. We all know that. And it's hours we simply don't have. We're going to help you save money. My goal is to bring you quality resources at a reasonable price. If you're not happy with what you've purchased, let us know. We're here. We're contactable. Quick searching. Marketplace is only as good as its search algorithms. We're constantly working to improve the search results you see so that you can find things as quickly as possible. Jump on there today, use the search box in the top right and see what you can find. Finding inspiration. You can browse our product listings as a way to get fresh ideas. See what's top selling and work out how you could use it in your own studio. Maybe it will give you some ideas of resources of a similar nature that you could create and share with other people. Another benefit for buyers is that you can purchase from multiple sellers in one place. This is really cool. One of the reasons that department stores and shopping centers and places like Target in the USA exist is to make it simple for people to get everything they need in one trip. You don't need to visit five stores anymore. Park your car once and get everything from one shop. And that's the beauty of a marketplace. Perhaps you want a piece by Bradley Sowash Music, a a note match from Cascade Method and a Ladybug toy from Music for All. Just add them to your cart pay in one transaction and enjoy using them. You can also enjoy safe and secure checkout. We run our back-end systems on Shopify. It's the biggest online e-commerce company on the planet. If you've ever bought something online, there's a very good chance that you've already interacted with a Shopify store. Shopify payments are 100% secure and encrypted and Top Music stores none of your payment data on our servers. And one of the coolest things is that you can save your payment and address details for faster checkout. And in fact, if you've used a Shopify store before, even if you don't realize it, when you come to the Top Music Marketplace and check out, it will already find your details if you have saved shopping details on another store before, and your checkout process will be incredibly fast. In fact, sometimes once you put your email in, It will just text you a message and enter all the details for you if you respond to that text message code. So no more searching for your credit card and remembering weird card codes when you check out. You can ask to save those details and the shipping information so that next time you purchase and enter your email, you'll receive that email SMS with a code that will allow you to pay without reaching for your purse or wallet. You can create an account as well. While you can always check out as a guest, it's a good idea to create create an account. It's just two extra steps after checkout so that you can log in and track your orders, download receipts, and this is all free and super easy. And as I mentioned before, 
As a buyer, you can also become a seller. If you've enjoyed the buying experience and have something of your own to sell, you can easily convert from being a buyer to a seller. You just sign up for a seller account to get started. I hope that sounds good. I'm so excited to release this to you. It's been a long, long bit of work for me and my team here at Top Music, but we're super, super excited to bring it to you. Hey everyone, this is Rosemary from The Unfinished Lesson, and I'm really excited to let you know about the products I'm offering on Top Music Marketplace. It's so important to have our students do activities outside of just playing songs, right? Well, what I have is activities that are going to get your students off the bench, listening like they've never listened before, improvising, and applying what they learn to what they play. The products I have on the marketplace are designed to be used with multiple levels in your studio. They require minimal to no prep from you. They guide your students each step of the way, and I've included practice tips and strategies as well. Coming in September 2020, I'm also adding music labs. So if you're wanting to travel through time with your students, be sure to check out the digital escape rooms. There'll be a full year of music labs available there. Your students will have choice each step of the way. There's almost no marking for you. And it goes beyond just the facts and has your students deeply thinking about what it is they're hearing and how it affects them. Be sure to search for The Unfinished Lesson on the Top Music Marketplace. Hello, this is Linda. Now, I'm the face, or the voice in this case, of four music teachers. I'm really thrilled to be part of Tim's Top Music Marketplace. It's extremely special. At the moment, all of us are worrying about continuity of income and keeping our business alive and functioning. There's a lot of chat about diversifying and changing how you run your business, but there's very little practical information on where to start and how to achieve this. My Beyond Teaching interactive mini course will help you look beyond the obvious ways of growing your business. It shows you how to use skills you already have to develop a unique second income pathway. Five years ago, due to external circumstances in the small town I live and work in, my teaching income dropped dramatically, similar to the situation some of us are in at the moment. I realised then that there was almost no practical information about how to diversify a small business in these circumstances. It made me explore other avenues so I could stay in the career I love, which is music. Five years later, as well as teaching, I mentor emerging and returning music teachers and those studying for music teaching qualifications. I also build courses like Beyond Teaching to help music teachers find innovative, tailored solutions to the glitches and obstacles that are unique to teaching and running a viable music studio. Check out Beyond Teaching in the teacher training section of Tim's Marketplace. You're welcome to message me if you have any questions about my courses. Take care. It's been well over two years since I first thought about creating a new marketplace just for music teachers. And as I said, it's taken a huge amount of work to build, but I know that connecting awesome resources with fantastic teachers is a one-way ticket to student motivation, success, and teacher happiness. At the time of recording, we've got 441 products for sale from over 40 sellers, so there'll be something for you regardless of when you come and visit us. And remember that you're purchasing from a marketplace that has been built by music teachers for music teachers. Who knows you and your studio's challenges better? But you might have a final question. What about all the other marketplaces out there? Why would I go to Top Music Marketplace when there are clearly some other options, right? Well, the simple answer is that until Top Music Marketplace, there was no marketplace built specifically for music teachers out there. Sure, we've got Amazon, but that is a massive behemoth, perfect for everyday items, books and technology, and if you need fulfillment, fantastic. But it's not so great for finding great teaching resources and having those resources recommended to you. And yes, there's a site called Teachers Pay Teachers that some of you might know about, but as I mentioned above, trying to get your products found amongst the hundreds of thousands of classroom teachers selling all their classroom resources will leave you little chance for being found by those teachers who need you most. We can't wait to hear what you find and how it impacts your teaching. Head over to topmusicmarketplace.com now and take a stroll through the aisles. 
Now, I did mention at the start of the podcast that we are giving all our podcast listeners 10% off your first marketplace purchase. So to grab your discount, go over to the store, add some things to your cart, and when you're ready to check out, use this code in the coupon code box. The code is PODLAUNCH10, P-O-D-L-A-U-N-C-H-1-0, PODLAUNCH10, to grab your 10% off. Well, I can't wait to hear what you think of the Top Music Marketplace. Make sure you share details. If you found something cool, share it on social. If you've found something that you really enjoy using, then please leave a review for the person selling it. I'm really keen to find out how people are using the site, how useful it is, the kinds of resources that uh, people are enjoying, all that kind of good stuff. So let people know. Do share your news about the the website and go and enjoy your 10% off that first purchase. Next week on the podcast, Paula Dreyer joins us. I can't believe Paula hasn't been on the website before because she is a superstar. And I think many of you will probably know of her work, Little Gems for Piano. She's basically the rote music teaching goddess, if I could put it that way. And she's going to be joining us to talk all about rote and creative compositions that students really connect with. And I'll let you in on a little secret. She's actually our next Top Music Sheets composer for our members' free monthly sheet music packs, which will be coming out in September. And we've been having some fun recording some of the pieces online live using Rock Out Loud. It's been really, really good. We've got some duets coming your way. Uh, It's been super fun. So I'm really thankful to Paula for all the work that she's doing and can't wait to have her on the podcast with you and share her story with you next time. Until then, you've been listening to the Topcast from topmusic.co. I will speak to you then. For more information about this episode and to find out how to enhance your own teaching, visit topmusic.co. You'll find everything you need for your studio, from lesson plans to cheat sheets, quick win teaching ideas and guides on how to build your teaching business. Plus, you'll be connected to a global community of the world's top music teachers. And when you're ready, join hundreds of other teachers around the world by becoming a Top Music Pro member and get access to all our bonus content and flagship courses. And don't forget to follow topmusic.co on social media and subscribe to this podcast wherever you listen to it. That's all for today. We'll see you in the studio.